Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Kate Arnell. I hope you are well. So for this video, I've teamed up with Akala, which is a new online store selling health and beauty products that not only focus on the amazing ingredients and what the product is made of, but also with a huge emphasis on the packaging as well, and trying to focus on products that offer refills or that have reusable packaging or biodegradable, so stuff that you can easily compost at home. And I'm going to be the resident zero waste guru or expert, whatever you want to call me, over on Akala's site for the next year. And I'm also going to be doing some content with them as well. So at the moment there's a huge focus in the beauty industry around what's in our products. So whether they're natural or organic or vegan, cruelty free, etc. But then the packaging is kind of a bit of an afterthought and there is so much plastic packaging in the beauty industry. So today's video is just sharing with you some of the cool products that I noticed on their site and there were quite a few that I was really excited to try so I'm going to talk you through what I chose now. Let me, where's my box? There it is. So this was just the neat little box that turned up and they even use brown paper tape so no plastic there which is great, hooray, and minimal packaging so it just came with, oops, I can get it out, I'm spilling everything. <laughs> A little bit of, uh, what do you call this, like shredded paper? Okay, so let's start with my favourite product. Um, I absolutely love this. And honestly, I'm the sort of person that doesn't normally get that excited about things like body lotion. But then I tried this and I was like, okay, I get it now. So this is by a brand called Happy Holistics. Soothing organic body butter. And honestly, it's amazing. Not only is their packaging uh, compostable, they also use glass for some of their products, but a lot of it comes in compostable cardboard tubes. They are also certified organic. You'll have to excuse the fact that I've been using this for about a week already and um, I've got my fingerprints all over it. So yeah, they're certified organic by the Soil Association, which is often one of those things that I feel like I have to make a compromise on because so often you can find beauty products that are certified organic but the packaging isn't really that great or you can find products that aren't certified organic and have better packaging but this is like the oh. and on top of that it's a really beautiful product to use like it's so nice it smells of lavender this one you can see i've used quite a bit of it already so i don't know about you guys but i definitely get really dry skin especially after the long winter months where my skin just turns into like the Sahara Desert, it's so dry. So um, this is really easy to rub in, it's very moisturising and I've just been using it on my legs, my arms, my hands, I may have used it on my face as well, pretty much everywhere. Oh, it just smells so relaxing and uplifting, it's the lavender, I love it so much. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm not normally one to get that excited by body lotion, but I've been genuinely looking forward to putting this on my legs after showering most days. And my skin's definitely enjoying it, it's normally so dry. Happy Holistics is actually a Bristol based company, so they hand make everything in Bristol. Oh, I just love them so much. Organic, better packaging. Hooray. Next up is this little SPF by Just Skin Food. And not only is the size super portable, it's like easy to carry around and just use on the go, it also comes in a compostable cardboard tube. <laughs> I love this little like paper hat. Um, so I've been using this just like on a hottish day where I feel like, oh, my skin could do with a bit of protection. Um, I'll just put this on. So it rubs in quite nicely actually, like it doesn't leave much of a white film. There you go, it's pretty much rubbed in. I actually have a patch on my hand there that I burnt um, earlier this year when I was making myself a hot water bottle, some hot water splashed out and went into onto my hand and um, I burned it. And then I went to a dinner party and there was a plastic surgeon there and he was saying, oh, you wanna make sure you cover that with SPF throughout the summer because the skin will be quite delicate. So I've been using this on that little patch as well as on my face. So it uses non-nano zinc oxide as the SPF. It's broad spectrum as well and it's SPF 30. So really good ingredients and a lot of organic ingredients. And it's just a really handy size to kind of throw in your bag. It's almost just slightly bigger than like a lip balm. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, next up. Now, I'm sure many of you already know this, but one of the easiest plastic-free swaps you can make in the bathroom is to a 
humble bar of soap. So these are great at replacing things like body wash and shampoo, and they usually come either unpackaged or very minimally packaged. So this one is rosemary and nettle. Again, it smells incredible. It's also by the brand Happy Holistics and it's certified organic and it comes wrapped in just a simple piece of muslin and then it has this little piece of card around it. And it actually says that this can be used as a shampoo as well as a body wash. So I actually haven't tried it as a shampoo yet. I've just been using it to uh, wash my body. But at the same time, I haven't used it too much because I wanted to make sure I had some left to use for this video. So <laughs> So uh, I'm going to be using it a heck of a lot more once this is filmed. I really like it. Happy Holistics is such a cool brand and I've been sort of keen to try them for a little while and only discovered them recently. And then when I saw that Akala was stocking them, I was like, oh, brilliant. I'm going to get some and try it. And so far I've been really impressed. And the muslin can easily again be added to the compost or I might use it to make like little um, tea strainer or something like that. That would work quite well for like herbal tea or something. Interesting, I might have a little play around with that. Or um, use it as a sort of face cloth. So I got options with this. Beauty cubes, all right. So if you saw my latest favorites video recently, then I gave these a big mention because I really, really like them. And then I noticed that Akala was stocking them and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get some of those. So I've already been using them for about two months and I've been really impressed with the results. They are basically like a shampoo bar but not, in that they come in little cubes. Let me show you. So they're basically a plastic-free alternative to shampoo. You get a little cardboard box with 27 little cubes inside, and that is basically what they look like. Um, they smell like sherbet, they're so nice. This one is especially for oily hair, but you can get ones for like dry hair, normal hair, and also ones that are a body wash and hair wash in one. And all I do is take one into the shower, wet it a little bit and it starts to crumble and then work it through my hair and it just lathers up really nicely and it leaves no residue when I rinse it out, which is the main thing. So these are great and I don't feel like I always need to use a conditioner or an apple cider vinegar rinse. I love that they're made in Cornwall by hand and honestly I think there's going to be a bit of a sort of craze around beauty cubes. They're just so good. Uh, I should also say they are sulfate free, vegan friendly, 100% plastic free, biodegradable, cruelty free, and they use a lot of organic ingredients as well. So if you're looking for a plastic free alternative to shampoo and shampoo bars haven't quite cut the mustard for you, then I would definitely recommend giving Beauty Cubes a go. Um, yeah super impressed. All right, next up is another little Happy Holistics. I've gone a bit crazy with the Happy Holistics products, to be fair. Um, I was just so excited to try them all. This is their lip balm, and I've gone for Turkish Delight. Ooh. Again, it's certified organic in a compostable cardboard tube, and it smells really nice, like kind of just creamy. Lovely. Um, and I've been using this mostly before bed just to give my lips a little bit of moisture. And I also like to use it on things like any dry skin between uh, my knuckles. Um, I sometimes make my own lip balm using beeswax and a an oil from bulk, like jojoba seed oil or um, sunflower oil. But um, it's nice to just sort of have a little pre-made one sometimes. I also think these would make really cute little gifts. So. Um, friends and family. Look away now. Okay, this next product I really could have done with a few nights ago because I have been bitten all over by mosquitoes. I've got a bite there on my cheek, one on my forehead, about eight on this arm, including my fingers, and then several on my legs, and one uncomfortably close to one of my butt cheeks. This would have been really handy and I'm gonna start using it before bed now because we do sleep with a window open. Um, this is Mosquito Be Gone and it's by Just Skin Food which is the same brand that made the SPF I showed you earlier. And it's a cute little lotion bar. It has mostly organic or wild harvested ingredients and it smells like, oh, it's nice, but also it's kind of insect repellenty as well, which is, I guess, what it's designed to do. Is it weird that I like that? Maybe. I think this would be great just to carry around in my bag, especially if I was going like camping or traveling, um, but I'm certainly gonna start keeping it by my bedside table because mosquitoes, be gone. Take the hint. So I'm nearly done deodoranting on about beauty products. 
get it? Well, you would get it if you knew that the next product was going to be a deodorant. Maybe I should have introed this first and then done the pun. Next time, Kate. Next time. So this is the final one. It's again by Happy Holistics. What a surprise. Um, so this is their 100% organic deodorant. It's fresh. Ah. Again, it's certified organic and it's kind of got a like minty scent to it. Uh, it comes in a compostable cardboard tube and all you do is like push up the base and then work it onto your underarms. Now this is bicarbonate of soda free, which I didn't actually realise, um, but it's great because my husband is sensitive to bicarbonate of soda on his skin. So um, I kind of feel like this would be more for him, but I've been using it as well and I really like it. It's not as effective as using straight bicarbonate of soda for me um, and I found that I needed to reapply it once or twice throughout the day, but it definitely works. I find this really useful to use after I've had a shower, so when I've got a bit of body temperature because I'm a naturally cold creature and it can take a bit of working in otherwise. Like I said, it's not as effective as bicarbonate of soda for me, but everybody's body is different. Um, and I always think with beauty products, especially ones that are more natural, it's good to experiment and find what works for you. So what works for me won't work for everybody, but um, I think my husband is gonna really enjoy using this. So there you go, those are the beauty products that I chose from Akala. It's really exciting to see so many uh, plastic-free options available and I'm excited to see Akala's new plastic-free DIY bulk ingredients like oils and clays and beeswax etc which is launching on their site in September so make sure you follow them on Instagram to see what's coming our way. Also, I should say, they have a trash jar, which is pretty cool. So as a business, they've announced that they're going zero waste and they have a trash jar to help keep tally of what's coming in, which just kind of shows like business can be done better. I hope I've inspired you to maybe try some plastic free alternatives in the bathroom. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.